bite, bite, fetch, 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 good. Sit, very good. Very good, he's a good boy. All right, all right, sit, sit. Sit, fetch, good. All right, ready, ready, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. ready, okay. There he is, okay. Good. Heel. So we're kind of starting over again. I think it's a good idea always in a training lesson. Let's say you start the whistle stop and you make, you use a rope with the whistle. Toot, toot, sit, sit. And eventually you get where you're using the electric collar to reinforce a sit command. So, and this goes for all for all kinds of training. You don't always pick up where you left off. Many times you kind of start again and bring up this whole lesson, so it's reinforcing that. So it's like, let's say you're a, a math wizard like I was in, in, in school. And you're trying to learn the timetables for the fifth time, okay? And you get two, two of them two is four, two of them three is six, two of them four is eight, so the next time you do the multiplication tables, you don't start, oh, two times four is eight, two times eight is 60. You don't do that. You go back again, two times two is four, and you, you keep redoing the beginning of the lesson before and just advance a little. Many people make a huge mistake in training. They do a lesson, and then they build on that lesson and do another lesson and then all of a sudden they're building this other lesson and they haven't reviewed and all of a sudden they reach the point of failure now they're into a lot of correction and it's not a good learning or teaching program so you always backtrack and make sure everything is solid and you do this multiple times then when you get to the end of the multiplication tables you don't say wait a minute i can't even remember what was eight times eight again? Uh, let's see. And so you always, it, my hand is <laughs> telling the story. Ready? Ready? Fetch, fetch. Okay, good, good. Fetch, sit, hold, good, sit. So we would then go, Good. When you're starting this, watch the timing. Watch when I'm doing the rope and when I'm blowing the whistle. Heel. It's just a slight amount after, not simultaneous, but just a slight amount after. after. Then when we introduce the collar, it's the same thing. Heel. Now there I use the rope and the collar and the whistle. And then I can also go sit. I can go, I can go They all mean the same thing. Sit, whistle, sit, etc. You mix them in, so sit is always a command that can be given multiple ways. Yeah. 
Good. Good. Ready? Here. Good. Here. Sit. Sit. Very good. Okay. Heel. Sit. 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 Back. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hold. Here. Sit. Good. Hold. Good boy. Out. Good. Okay. You pretty good boy? Huh? Now there he came to me without a command, so it happened. I couldn't do anything about it. So I'm gonna, in this case, something like that, I'm gonna make believe it didn't happen, rather than get into a brawl, because my lesson is sitting on the whistle, not a long sit and stay. So you gotta pick your little battles and make sure the lesson is the thing you're working on, not something else. That's what some people do, and I think it's a huge mistake. They're, they're in one lesson, the dog makes a mistake, so they're in that lesson, and now they got four or five lessons going all at the same time, and the dog is totally confused what's going on. So you, it's best, especially with a young dog like Danger, is to get clear what the lesson is and then stick to it and keep working on that lesson, not some other lessons. Good! <laughs> there you go. Very good. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Okay. So, what, what's happening is he, see him, see he thinks this is all some game I'm playing with him, and it is. But what's happening? He's learning to do all these commands while he's having a great time of it. And I think it's, especially with a dog like this, I don't want to take anything out of him. I want to keep adding to the way he is. I want him to think life is just fabulous. Ready? Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now that time I just used my hand signal and he stopped on, stopped and sat. So inside this little blonde head is a pretty good sized brain. That's what I'm thinking, right? All right, that's it. He's gonna become a jumping, a jump star. So just a little recap, um, that lesson was about sitting on the whistle, even though towards the end I incorporated a little bit of a mark just to have things be fun. So he's learning to sit on the whistle with a whistle, with a whistle and a, a hand signal, with a whistle and a jerk up on the rope. He's learning to have a whistle sit when he's a little bit in front of me, like a remote. 
Sid. And I'm mixing all these things in because the whistle oz means the same thing. It means sit. Sit oz means the same thing. Sit. The hand signal oz means the same thing. Sit. So every lesson I'm trying to approach from as many different angles as I can. And he's picking it up very fast. But I'm not in a hurry because he doesn't have to get it today. But he's got to get it. I hope he gets it soon. I just gave one whistle. He was about... 20 yards away and he sat instantly. So I think he's making good progress. So that's the next episode in Sitting on the Whistle. Like valleys that stretch out, like gardens by the riverside, like aloes planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. He shall pour water from his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters. <laughs> <laughs>